Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Perfect Genetics Challenge Generation 8 Part 14. So I'm kind of in a bit of a bind here. Um, this is going to be the last part of the generation. Surprising. Um, another surprising thing, we have our heir here and I don't honestly know what has happened. <laughs> um, I don't know where any of my footage has gone. I recorded basically all of part 14, was about halfway through part 15, but all my recordings of makeovers and like actual footage has just like up and disappeared. And I know that I hit, you know, it's not like it was just one time that I thought I hit record and I didn't, because I mean, this here, our heir is a quad, she's a quadruplet, she's one of four, like in a set, and the others have aged up, um, like, I mean, um, Nora and Christopher and Holden and Laguna are all teenagers, and then John is a teenager, and I just aged them up, Deanna aged up, and then I don't know what happened, um, Onyx is gone. And I went to move, like, Onyx moved out, no problem, I went to move out Deanna, and then all of a sudden, I am booted out of my house. Um, and now, like, the whole, like, save is glitched, and it basically glitches out and crashes, um, if I try and do too much. So, we luckily do have our air. This is Summer, um, there, she's one of four, so we have Odin. Summer, Amelia, and Evangeline, and Summer is the heir, so I'm actually very lucky that we got her now because I can say I can take her and Gemina and Davin and move them, and then I am going to save Raven and Patch and just take them on to the next generation, but basically... This is it for Generation 8, and I didn't, I feel like it's not, I shouldn't have labeled this as a part, but I did, and I'm going to when I upload it, but this is the end of Generation 8. I have no idea what happened. Again, I went to move Deanna out, and all of a sudden, it kicked us out of the house, uh, it moved us to some other place almost like I was kicking everybody else out and Deanna was the one staying behind but that wasn't true because then when I go back to our old house like the house that we've been in um it claims that we're still living there but when I hit go home it takes us to some random lot and I have no clue what is going on so what I am going to do as um, cut out. I am going to go make some husbands for uh, summer here and then um, give you some world choices and we're just gonna go from there because I have spent the last two or three days now trying to find these recordings, trying to fix the save. I'm getting frustrated and I'm basically giving up. Um, not on the challenge or anything like that. I'm just going to take, again, Summer, Gemina, Davin, and then the puppies. And we're going to move to a different, like, whatever world you guys end up voting on. I'm going to make the, like, um, poll, though, like, super short. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really plan anything out when I started recording this. So I'm gonna give you guys until, I don't even know when this is going up. Um, give me a second, I'm looking okay 
So, I done goofed with part 13. I accidentally published that immediately when it got done uploading instead of scheduling it like I was supposed to. So, part 12 still has yet to go up, and that goes up on Monday the 6th. So, this will be going up on Friday to the 10th. I'm giving you guys... We'll go until um, Thursday the 23rd. And then I'm going to cut the poll off that will be in the description of this video because, like I said, I'm going to go make some husbands. Um, I'm actually kind of sad that we didn't get to use Davin more. I think he's really cute. Uh, and I really like Gemina. But Summer here looks stinking adorable. Uh, yeah, I'm just... Guys, I'm so frustrated and upset right now. And, I mean, at least this didn't happen a long time ago. At least it's not like an unbreakable glitch, but it's still super annoying. And I'm just rambling, so I'm going to cut out, going to go find some guys, and I will be back. Alright, so I'm back. I now have our two men choices. I feel like whenever I say stuff like that, it's very questionable, you two men choices. Um, but anyways, I, do, oh, I woke up Bailey. I have Bailey and Bruno with me now. Um... I actually already recorded this part and it ended up being like 19 minutes long because I recorded it at like 11.50 last night. I was like bone tired, exhausted, and I just kept rambling. <laughs> so I was trying to find like something, like info that I talked about in the part. I was editing some stuff and then I'm like, I have no, I, I couldn't find it through all of my rambling. So I just decided to re-record it when I'm actually with it. I'm still a little tired, but that's because I almost fell asleep snuggling with Bruno earlier, so yeah. Anyways, our first guy here, this is Russ, Russ Gilpin, <laughs> because I am obsessed with Jumanji right now. Um, no, I'm not talking the original, I found out the other day that apparently this is practically a sin. Um, but I do not like the original Jumanji movie with, you know, Robin Williams. It's probably one of the only Robin Williams movies I don't like, but I don't, and I don't like watching it, and I just don't like it, and people don't seem to understand that, and basically, they're really mean about it, but anyways, I do really like the new ones, though, with like, The Rock and Kevin Hart and Jack Black and Karen Gillan, like, especially The Next Level. I have seen it three times in the theater now because I like it so much. Um, I actually saw The Next Level and then, like, realized how much I liked it that I came home and actually watched Welcome to the Jungle. I hadn't seen Welcome to the Jungle. But anyways, I decided to kind of Russ is from Russell Van Pelt from Welcome to the Jungle. Um, I don't actually, like, have anything for the character. Like, it's not like, oh my god, that's, like, my favorite villain or something. No. It's just, I wanted, I needed a guy name. And I wasn't going to use Spencer. Uh, because I also like Spencer Reed. And so I don't want to be like, ooh, which, no. So we went with Russ. Because Russell does not suit him. But I feel like Russ definitely does. So this is Russ Gilpin. So I didn't gonna want I didn't want to do Russell Van Pelt. So this is Russ Gilpin. I used Spencer's last name. Russ Gilpin. Um, he's got kind of this. It's got like a reddish tint to it, uh, especially when put next to his shirt color. It definitely appears very reddish. Uh, he. Is a Sagittarius. <laughs> I guess we'll go backwards. He likes red, Egyptian music, and dim sum. And then he is a daredevil, excitable, family oriented, a natural cook, and rebellious. And every time I click on this stuff, it always changes up his lifetime wish. Rockstar was one of the suggested suggested ones, and now it's changed. But yeah, we're just gonna have him do music. I could totally see him being all into music and stuff. So that is what he's going to be. And then we have the other guy. So this other one is Kieran Van Pelt. <laughs> Bruno Star. 
the bad guy from the first one just has very easy names to use, okay? So this is Kieran. Uh, Kieran is actually very different from what I normally do. Like, originally, he had a lot darker blonde hair and he had green eyes. And I'm like, I can't do that. This is what Clara looked like. So he has much, it is still blonde. It's almost also blonde. It's not nearly as white, like white blonde as hers, but it's very close. And then he has these like bluish green eyes and he's a lot more nerdy looking I guess I don't know uh, but he's born salesman diva genius schmoozer and star quality and once again become a creature robot cross breeder was one of the suggested lifetime wishes and then I clicked off and it changed um, he likes turquoise indie music and spaghetti and he is a Virgo so these are our two options again Kieran Russ. Lord doing so. Um, and he does have, by the way, because I didn't say, he has kind of these like greenish hazel eyes. So, um, I'm giving you guys till January 19th. That is when I will end the poll. Um, this video goes up on the 10th. So that gives you a little over a week to vote. Um, just so I can keep going, because I was not planning on this. I mean, I'm never tech. Ne blah, blah, blah. I'm technically never planning for you know the generation to end. It always just it depends on if we have a perfect genetics kit or not. But I wasn't expecting it to be this short, um, so I didn't really have anything like oh I could you know elongate how long you guys have. And, you know, do this and this and this. I, w I didn't plan on that. <laughs> so, yeah. Basically, I'm going to have the slideshow go up. I'm going to give... I'm going to age Summer up. And give her, along with her parents, um, makeovers. And there's that. I am not going to be posting the dog survey because I'm just going to take Raven and Patch. Uh, save them to my library and then bring them with us. Um, instead of worrying about getting new dogs because they never aged up and had puppies themselves. They're still puppies because for whatever reason they're not aging. I'm just kind of letting them be. So we'll have the husband's pool and then we're going to have our world pool. So the three worlds I've chosen are Barnacle Bay, Sunlight Tides, and Lucky Palms. Now Barnacle Bay... Bleh, I can't speak. That's my problem today. Um, Barnacle Bay... It's just because I've never used that world. I don't know anything about that world when it came out, like, years ago. I never really saw, like, any hype for it. Unlike Aurora's, um, Aurora Skies or Lucky Palms or Hidden Springs. Like, I saw a whole bunch of hype over those worlds. I saw them, knew what they kind of looked like before actually playing in them. Barnacle Bay, I've never seen anyone play in. I've never loaded it up and looked at it. Um... It's just one of those things that I happen to have. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, I have been in Sunlit Tides. I used it forever ago in my 100 Baby Challenge for Generation 2. Um, with Jade, we lived in Sunlit Tides then. And then Lucky Palms we used in Generation 2 of this challenge. Uh, with Scarlet and Josh, they were in Lucky Palms. But I'm kind of running. I want to keep big challenges in EA worlds because they don't get as laggy I'm not worrying about all this I don't use custom content like furniture and stuff so like that's not what I'm worried about but there's so much extra in CC worlds uh, there's extra sims there's extra like they're normally bigger worlds like so I prefer to stick to the EA stuff which is a lot more basic um but yeah, I'm morning out of the EA worlds, so we're going to have to start reusing. So yeah, those are your choices. Barnacle Bay, Sunlight Tides, Lucky Palms. The polls will be down in the description like normal. I will have them linked also in the like, two-minute slideshow that will be posted because I took like next to no pictures in this generation. Um, and then in the video of me giving Summer her 
young adult makeover and then her parents their makeover because I'm going to age them up into adults uh, like I always do if they aren't already make them look more like parents <laughs> and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe I'm still not really sure what I'm going to title this video I mean I know I said it's going to be part 14 but then I also kind of want to do like part 14 slash husband choices or like you know yeah I don't I don't know we'll see but yeah thank you guys and I will see you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to go vote. <laughs> Bye.